All right, well, we're about to drive out to uh, Governor Bev Metro Park in Butler County, Ohio, to check out this new messaging feature. Um, obviously, you can't use it when you do have service because Apple is paying per message for this feature, I assume, or something like that. So you have to go somewhere where you have no service to test it out. Um, so we're gonna be checking that out here. And uh, through the magic of editing, we will be there now. All right, we're here guys, and we've got SOS showing on my phone. So let's hop out and take a look and see how this works, see if we can test it out. Um, I wasn't able to find any videos on this yet, so I figured why not just make one? All right, so you can see SOS mode. No service, satellite is available. So let's go see what happens here. Pops up, stay in touch while letting others know you're available via satellite. Let's try it out. Try to get a clear view of the sky. This is kind of similar to how the uh, emergency SOS mode worked before. It looks like it's got a cool earth diagram. So we're gonna try and point towards the satellite. We are connected. Green check mark. Let's see. trying to send right now. I will say I kind of assumed that it would be iMessage, but if it can focus here, looks like it does switch back to text message satellite there. You can see also mentions that he might not be able to reply if his device software has not been updated. So since we're on the developer beta and which just launched yesterday, um, I guess there's a chance that he might not be able to reply to this message, but it does look like it was successfully sent. Let's see if we can see any satellites moved around a little bit, so you just have to adjust a bit. This is pretty sweet. Supposedly, you're going to be able to do tap packs as well, and I assume RCS once that's supported and updated. But for now, it is interesting that it sends green. I was kind of surprised. I thought it would send iMessage how it was shown before when I mentioned that I was heading out. So I can try and do a tap back here, see if it works. Again, I guess there's no way for me to see since he's not also on the this beta here. I also found by tapping, you can get to this pretty neat menu here, showing the satellite we're pointed at, messages, update Find My, roadside assistance, and SOS features that we had before. So quick update, uh, I've been out here messing around with this for a little bit, and it looks like I was finally able to get some messages from somebody via satellite. Looks like he also just got that message there. So I've been messing around with this. I sent several messages out. At first, it seemed like I wasn't really getting anything, that I was just getting messages, you know, like it was just sending messages instead. But it does look like I'm actually receiving messages back here. And with this contact, at least, it did switch to blue, and it is showing up as iMessage. So um, I did notice that things do take a little bit of time to send and receive probably can be expected. Trying to re-aim it back again. I've noticed that trying to keep it aimed right in the middle helps out the most. And here I was going to show you guys one where it was an SMS where I got the result. Um, but it does do this thing where it, it loses the connection every once in a while and you kind of have to walk around. Um, but it also just gives you a notice that there will be one available in a minute since these are continuously flying over us very far above. Um, so hopefully that'll connect in a second here. So, okay, so it's telling us to turn around to find one over here. All right, and we're connected again. So I went ahead and just messaged this other device I had, which, which does have Verizon service and got the message. I sent a text and replied, got it from that device. 
and it did take about 30 seconds, but it did come in here and you can see it right there showing up. So SMS and iMessage both work. And just one more update. So it looks like this friend I was texting here can see my reactions, which is awesome. So like they said in the keynote, TapX are supported and he just dropped a thumbs up there on mine and I can see that as well. You can tell here, this is grayed out. Um, group texting, MMS, as well as images are obviously not supported because this is uh, pretty low bandwidth stuff. I assume that it's got to be limited to just messages. All right, still been messing with this. You'd see, been here for a little bit now. So there is a message limit, like a character limit. So for messages that are sent via iMessage, you have a 500 character limit. And you can see here, messages sent via SMS, via satellite, have a 140 character limit, which is kind of the standard SMS character limit when you send longer messages. It just, behind the scenes, it parses them together as they come, as they go out of your phone into somebody else's device. So it is kind of cool to see that uh, you can see that limit there. One more thing before I go that I did want to mention that is kind of interesting and maybe it's just part of the beta since this is the developer preview beta one that just came out yesterday. I did notice the first time that I messaged somebody, even though they had an iPhone, it did show up green. And I kind of waited around and didn't get anything back. So I kind of switched on a separate SIM so that I could, you know, connect to data again. And it showed up. Um, he said that he got all of these messages at once. So that was, that was kind of interesting there. This friend that's on the beta, he was able to instantly connect with satellite iMessage here and we've been going back and forth a little bit while well, I've been trying to film here and talk at the same time so I haven't been very responsive but yeah so you can see that this worked instantly and it doesn't have the update yet his went through SMS and ended up sending his iMessages in a little bit so it's a little bit finicky I think that we're going to see some improvements as they provide more and more updates to this I think that we'll have to continue testing this as we go obviously this is huge for people you know that are backpacking some people that are in the backcountry many days they've got their garments or whatnot they're expensive they're paying for satellite phones and services this is supposedly free for the first two years possibly we'll see what they announce in September when this officially comes out of beta but yeah super excited to be able to stay connected uh, on these longer backpacking trips just to be able to keep in touch with people especially if something happens so anyway I think that this is going to be it for this video like comment ask questions if you have them I can try and respond if possible I don't even know if anybody's going to see this but I figure it can't hurt and I didn't see any other videos like this so peace